In this video, we'll go into detail on how to get direct contact to decision makers by navigating to find contacts within the contact search. The search criteria is based on a unique filtering system which contains 10 basic filters and multiple subfilters divided in two filtering categories filters on a contact level as well as filters on a company level. Let's start with the filters based on a contact level. First, we have the job position filter, which helps you define the prospects by their job title, the company hierarchy, and the department they work at. When using the job title filter, choose whether what you typed in is part of, is not included in, or is the exact match of the job title you're looking for. Knowing that many companies have branches all around the world, the prospects you're looking for can be professionally situated in any of the branch countries, regardless of the location where the company was founded. Therefore, select the contact location filter according to your prospect location preferences. We know that the most important data for you is a direct contact to the decision maker you're chasing for. So when you click on contact info, you can select the direct email and LinkedIn profile availability, as well as the confidence score group of the found emails. Now we can move on to the filters based on a company level. The company HQ filter gives you the option to select the location by continent, country, or regions within the country where the company has been registered. For a more specific location search, you can also select the city and the postcode as well as if you'd like to include only companies that have a headquarter in the selected company location. Therefore, in this example, we're looking for companies registered in the Netherlands as well as their employees only for their Dutch office, without the other branches included if they have any. To make the search even more specific, you can select the industry of your targeted audience by clicking on Select Codes. You can choose a category or subcategories of the industry you prefer. For easier search, you can either type in the code or a keyword of the industry and select the field of activity. Once done, click Save. Next is the company size filter which can help you define the size by employee range and revenue range. Both of the filters offer two relations, a custom and a bracket range. The custom range gives you the option to set the limits by your own standards, whereas the bracket range gives you suggested ranges already set from our site. Another thing you can do is select the founding year by using the company status filter according to your ideal business. Choose whether the companies are founded before or after, between a range of years, or exactly on the year you choose. After selecting the relation, type in the year and press enter. Then we have the web technologies filter which will enable you to discover the companies that are using a specific web technology and how much they've spent on these plugins, such as advertising networks, payment gateways, a certain CRM and many more. For a contact option of the company, Click here on Contact Info and select from the company phone number, the general company email, the company website, and their LinkedIn profile. And last but not least, if you're interested in direct contacts only from a specific company, then use this filter which can help you define the company by the name of the company, the company's registry number, or the company URL. Before we continue, note that if you change your mind about your chosen filters, you can always remove them by clicking the red bin button. Once you finish selecting the filters, click the start search button. The result is a number of how many contacts were found according to your criteria. As you can see, all contact profiles are divided in three fields and your previously unlocked or downloaded data 
will always be separated from the locked data, so you won't have to worry about saving or contacting the same person again. Next, select the amount of contacts you would need by either selecting them one by one or by choosing an option from the selection criteria. After selecting, click on the Actions button to choose what's next with the data. If you want to have it always available, save the data to a list, visible either only to you or your teammates as well. To open the list, go to My Lists and click on the list name. Same as previously, choose your selection criteria and decide the next action. If you'd like to export them to your device, the file will be ready in the field My Exports within the Contact Search drop-down. Change the file name if needed and click on Download. We hope this detailed walkthrough was helpful for you. Now go and find your prospect!